Hello everyone. It's so nice to have you joining us again for another devotion from Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel. Today I'd like to share these words with you from Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 and 25. Jesus says this as he finishes out his Sermon on the Mount. Therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. I'm not sure if you love baseball to the same degree that I do, but these last week, week and a half, they've been great because the teams are reporting to Arizona and Florida and spring training has started. And for baseball lovers, it's just another mark that spring has to be around the corner. I want to talk to you just briefly about one of my favorite baseball players of all time, and, and maybe you have, uh, you're aware of him, and, and maybe I'm going to introduce you to him for the first time. His name was Cal Ripken Jr., and he's famous for a lot of things, but I suppose the thing he's most famous for is breaking what was considered an unbreakable rule in baseball. You see, Lou Gehrig, the Iron Man, had played 2,130 consecutive games most people thought that could never be broken. Until Cal Ripken came along, he ended up playing over 2,600 consecutive games for the Baltimore Orioles. He broke Lou Gehrig's record back in 1995. And the night that he played in his 2,131st game, he was presented with all kinds of gifts. But, but get this, this is my favorite one. His teammates presented him with a rock. A rock that weighed 2,131 pounds and had the numbers chiseled right in it. They did that for him because they considered him and even called Cal Ripken the rock of the Baltimore Orioles. Every night they knew that he was going to be in the lineup, that he was going to play and contribute for their team. It's kind of a neat story about Cal Ripken. And yet you and I as God's people, we have something even greater that we have as a foundation for our lives. We have something that's even more rock solid that we can count on every single day of our lives. And you know who I'm talking about. It's the one who spoke these words. It's Jesus himself who tells us to build our lives on him and the foundation that he provides. Jesus says, whoever hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So let's talk about that just for a second this morning. How, how do we build our house on Jesus? How do we build on that foundation? Well, first of all, it's by listening. It's by listening to the rock, hearing what he says in his word, trusting in the promises that he has given us. And then, and then we build. We build on that rock. We put those words into practice. We understand what God's promises mean for us every single day. That God will remember our sins no more. That they're forgiven in the blood of Jesus. That we're secure in his love and heirs of eternal life. And then when those storms of life come, when the rains beat against the house, when the winds of life blow, we can stand. Stand on the rock. Stand on that foundation that means God is with us through everything, good or bad, and he's guiding us to our eternal home in heaven. That, Jesus says, is what makes us wise, to build on the rock. Listen to him, build on that rock, and then stand on that rock. And Jesus promises that will be the sure foundation for your life in this world and your sure hope of a life with him forever in heaven. Thank you for joining us again today. Remember, Jesus loves you. We'll see you next time.